So unless you want OLED or an i9, stick with the current model, save yourself some money. That's what I think. So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Right, I tell you out there champs, and I'm not going to belabor this. Check out my last video on the new XPS 15 9580. You'll find out everything pretty much you need to know. This is just an update video because a couple of things have come to light since then. My next video will actually be a shootout between the MacBook Pro, the X1 Extreme, and the XPS 15. So sub up and stay tuned for that. I didn't actually mention in my last video that it's probably going to have Wi-Fi 6. So it's probably going to have a killer AX1650, which is basically the Intel AX200 NG which promises 10% less CPU usage while gaming, 40% better transfer speeds and 30% less power than AC. So, but of course you're going to need a Wi-Fi router that supports Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11ax. And it just happens that I've got this beast in the house, this uh, ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 tri-band gaming router. I'll tell you what, it looks epic too. Stay tuned for that. Also, Frank Azor has confirmed no white deck options. Tear to my eye, like seriously, I want a white deck option. And also 1650 only. So the four gigabyte GTX 1650 only, no 1660 Ti, which is another dagger to the heart. But in reality, given that the 1050 Ti is actually held back in this thermal envelope scene, they're not changing it. Yeah, I don't think it could sustain a 1660 Ti. So yeah, that's as good as we're going to get until they make a new design, maybe with better thermals. So what are we expecting from the GTX 1650? Well, the GTX 1650 is supposed to be around 70% faster than the 1050. So at an estimate, it'll make it around 30% faster than a full-fledged GTX 1050 Ti. Now, I have a few and they're talking about the gaming ones when they're talking about that so in all honesty in the real world i don't expect anything more than around 25 percent extra performance over the 1050 ti so in reality when you're talking gaming given that the current xps 15 can game pretty much 60 frames per second medium high settings you can imagine that you'll be able to play more games at high settings rather than medium at 60 frames per second and maybe some ultra there's not going to be that much difference in a gaming sense also it's going to be around the same price Price. So all in all, knowing all these things now, and we know how the ninth generation i7-950H performs now, it is 4 gigahertz all-core burst. So you're not getting a great performance increase over the eighth generation XPS 15 when it comes to the i7. So I really think only if you get the i9 is this worth upgrading because you get the extra two cores. In all other sense, apart from, you know, a modest improvement in gaming, which really doesn't matter if you're playing at 60 frames per second, I don't think it's worth upgrading from the last model, the 9570, given that, you know, you're only getting 100 megahertz all-core burst extra speed. And yeah, you do get an extra 3 megabytes cache if you're talking about the i7. Only if you get the i9 with the extra two cores, really, is it worth it? Because when you game with the XPS 15 or you render in, say, Premiere Pro, you cannot maintain those high clocks of 3.9 or 4 gigahertz anyway. It's like 3.3 gigahertz when you render and you're using the GPU as well. And when you game, it can be anywhere from, you know, mid twos to low threes. So the new 9th generation is not going to give you any benefit whatsoever. And given the thermal envelope, the GPU won't give you that much of a boost either. So I would be picking up the current model on a deal when they start clearing them out when this new model comes out definitely if you're getting the i7 if you're getting the i9 different story get an extra two cores but if you're getting an i7 i'll be getting the current model unless you want an oled display as well because the new one's going to have the oled option so unless you want oled or an i9 stick with the current model save yourself some money that's what i think catch you in the next one tally ho